uh, from China. Uh, the subject of the zakah, when we give it to someone that is really deserved to be taken the money of the zakah, it is not up to the giver to dictate upon the poor how to use their money. If they are entitled for zakah, then they are to be given whatever is sufficient for them for an entire year. Unless a person is insane, and that's why I asked the brother if he's insane. If he's someone that is not competent in using his money, that's a different situation. So the question is, can you give him an installment? Because once he gets a whole sum of money, he spends it. The answer to this in normal situations, no. If he's entitled for the zakah and this 30% is sufficient, or if it's more than what he needs for the entire year to pass his necessities, because zakah is to be given only for the necessities of the person. In that case, just give him the money, and he can use it in whatever uh, means that he sees valid. Otherwise, if you see that he's not really fit to be given the zakah money, that you can give less or you can even not give him at all. But it's not permissible to dictate upon the person how to use their money. Or it actually, if you want to give him uh, the zakah in portions, but to do that ahead uh, of the time where you're supposed to give the zakah, there's nothing wrong with that, which is another alternative. Basically, meaning that if the zakah time for you to pay is the coming Ramadan, for example, then from now on, you can give him from today, you can give him something for the zakah to come. And you count how much you gave. You cannot give the zakah in installments after the zakah is due for you. But if you give it earlier, right, every month you give him something. And then when it's time for you to give the zakah, you calculate, you subtract how much you gave from what is left. You can do that and there is no harm in this whatsoever, whether he is competent or not. So hopefully, inshallah ta'ala, this is helpful and it can help inshallah ta'ala.